These recruits have been traveling all day. They're tired, they're hungry, and none of them have any idea of exactly what's to come. I didn't sleep last night and I didn't sleep on the plane. Honestly, I do not know what to expect. All I know is the next 13 weeks are they're going to be tough, but they're going to be worth it in the end. Brian Gutowski came from Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Like the rest of these recruits, he's on edge. Extremely nervous, but I'm also excited too. I have no idea. I don't know what's going to happen. It's a waiting game until the bus arrives to take them to the recruit depot. That's where life as a civilian ends. Everything is quiet. As the bus comes to a halt, no one is allowed to look up. And then... Still straight, look at me right now. I'm not sure straight. I'm not sure straight. We have the Commanding General, Brigadier General Bailey. Welcome to MCRD. You are now aboard Marine Corps Crew Depot, Shadow, California, Building 622, Civic Company. From this point forward, the only words out of your mouth will be yes or no, sir, and ask a question. And I ask someone to do something. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Open your mouth, get louder. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Get up and get off the bus right now. The recruits get off the bus and rush on to the famous yellow footprints. This is where thousands of Marines stood before them. A moment recruits never forget. Uh, that's the first impression they get. You know, we uh, they get the, the first shock as far as what, what to expect when they get here. We show them the position of attention on the footprints. Your chest is out. Your chin is tucked in. The screaming is necessary in boot camp. It keeps the recruits confused, simulating the stresses of the battlefield. Being in their shoes at one time, then I pretty much know what's going through their heads. It's they don't know what they're going to be in store for. It's the first time away from home. A lot of them. Now it's off the yellow footprints and into the contraband room. Recruits have to give up all of their civilian possessions. Anything of value goes into the small green bag for them to keep. Everything else becomes a part of their past. We go ahead and uh, strip them from everything they have civilian-wise when they get here. Uh, pretty much, we make them all the same. It's now time for the recruits to make a phone call home. This is the last time family members will hear their voices for the next three months. And if no one answers, they leave a message. Now comes the part everyone knows. Recruits wait in line as one after another, they get their head shaved. They're no longer an individual, they're a part of a team. We take the normal civilian, we break him down and we show him from top to bottom how to stand, how to walk, how to talk, and basically what, what, we're, what we're about.